this is Alan from winery.ph and today I'm going to show you how to make a mulled wine, also called Bon Chaud, Bon Brule, Vino Caliente, Candola, and literally a hundred other names. It is a very popular holiday drink in many places around Europe. It was a very comforting drink. It was like a warm hug in a mug. The spices and the alcohol, um, it really made uh, difference. It's one of a kind. I'm going to show you how to make the mulled wine. The ingredients are as follows. First one is your red wine. So we're using Grande Alberoni um, Italian red wine. Um, it's a mix, it's a blend rather of um, Merlot, Italian indigenous grape, maybe Primitivo. I recommend you use a bold fruity red wine. It really withstand the heat of mulled wine and also it will not be overwhelmed by the aromatics that we will be using later on. But of course, you can use any red wine laying around your house. The next ingredient is your rum. Captain Morgan spiced rum. Like your regular sangria, it is traditional to add extra kick into your mulled wine. So today we're using this. You can also use brandy. By the way, the next ingredient would be uh, your fresh orange. I sliced it just like this. And we'll also be using cinnamon sticks or cinnamon bark. Uh, but if you have cinnamon powder laying around your house, uh, it's also fine. You can use that. And for the other spices that we'll be using today, we can also count on cloves to be present as well because it really harmonizes the flavor of the cinnamon. Also, the anise will also be using this. To get started, we need a saucepan. We pour our red wine. We need a 400 ml, maybe half a bottle. Next ingredient, 120 ml of spiced rum. The next ingredient is the orange slices. So I took out the, the peel of the orange so that it will not be too bitter. Next step is to put two cinnamon barks or cinnamon stick. Throw in your four pieces of cloves. Make sure it's four pieces because this spice is really, really pungent. So that's one, two, three, four. And then three pieces of star anise. So one. Simmer this for 30 minutes to an hour. Just make sure your heat is not too high because you don't want your mulled wine to be too syrupy, raisin-like, and you also do not want the alcohol to evaporate. So, I'll be back. Finally, you can serve your mulled wine using a ladle and a strainer. And there you go. Um, this is your mulled wine. Um, you can also put a cinnamon stick or cinnamon bark as a garnish to make your drink a little Instagram worthy. Also, you can drink this with your tarty flat, you know, during the holidays, maybe as a digestive after a um, holiday dinner with your family and friends. So there you go. I hope you like this recipe. And if you do, please do give us a like. And if you want to know more about wine, wine recipes, wine 101, please hit subscribe. Again, this is Aman from winery.ph. Happy holidays!